somebody say immediately immediately put this in your atmosphere immediately it was Tuesday morning during prayer when God led me to read in the book of Acts. It was chapter 16. This was about Paul and Silas. And as I'm reading this, the story of, of them going on their journey to witness to other people about the gospel. And on this journey, they came into a city where they were met with an angry mob that beat them down and then threw them in prison. And as I'm reflecting and I'm reading this, it made me think about in life how, you know, we are putting in the work, we are participating, we are moving on our assignments, but yet we're still met with a lot of opposition. And then it seemed like we're still stuck in chains, even though we are doing the work that we're supposed to be doing. So as I'm reading this and I'm, I'm thinking about them and I'm reflecting on my life, I'm reflecting on everybody's life around me that talked to me about still feeling like we're stuck in bondage, even though we're doing kingdom work. Come on now, catch them diamonds. So I kept on reading. The Holy Spirit says, keep reading. So let's go into the word. Let's start at verse 22. But the, a mob quickly formed against Paul and Silas and the city officials ordered to strip them and beat them with wooden rods they were severely beaten and then they were thrown into prison and just me reflecting on this part it just it's just like man you doing your part in life but yet you're met with opposition people come up against you and tell lies on you people come up against you and and, and don't like you for no reason it just made me think about the all the uh, the people and the oppositions that come up against us even though you're on your journey doing what god called you to do come on now i'm getting into the word so i'm just thinking about what they went through versus what we go through because I know we feel like, man, God, I'm doing the work for you. I'm on this journey. I finally surrender, but what's going on? I'm met with opposition. Why am I still stuck? Come on now. We about to get into this word, catch them diamonds. So they, they put them in jail, right? So now like you got to think about your life, how you feel like your back against the wall, rumors on your name or whatever, you, you know, whatever it is that you're going through on your job, they're giving you a hard time in your neighborhood. You can't even walk in your house without them looking at you crazy you know it's just like you got to walk through a pack of wolves every time you're out so listen and it says around midnight paul and silas were uh, singing in hymns to god and so this part reminds me of in the midst of being stuck in bondage man we still have to you know have a song that we lift up because that lift up our spirits you know when we sing songs or we listening to messages or motivational messages it lift us up because in that moment come on now when we are worshiping, come on now. Oh, I feel this word right here. Come on, catch them diamonds. In that moment when we are worshiping and we're still praising God in the midst of our pain, in the midst of our confusion, in the midst of our frustration, because I know we be upset now. Come on, don't lie about it. Listen, it says suddenly <laughs> there was a massive earthquake. Come on now. In the in the in the in all of the doors, immediately flew open. Come on. That's why I say immediately. When God led me to this after prayer, he said, go and read and ask immediately. The doors will come open. Every door that you think is stuck and will not open in your life immediately, it will come open. He said the doors flew open. And he said that, listen, and the chains of every prisoner fell off catch them diamonds every chain that is on you will fall off of you i speak that in the name of jesus come on now now listen now watch this right here it said the jailer woke up to see that the prison doors were wide open you know what that made me think about every person that has put you in prison or put you in some type of captivity whether it was mentally physically emotionally spiritually and this was what it made me think about when God said he will prepare a table in the presence of your enemy. And like like when they when people put you down, when the enemy puts you down, and when you no longer in chains, and when the doors are finally open and your life access granted, every they get scared. He said, Look, look, look. It said the jailer woke up to see the doors open. He assumed that the prisoners had escaped. So he he drew a sword to kill himself. He he will he was drawing a sword to kill himself. He was scared. The doors was open. 
That's how it is when the adversary, you know, come through your life and think that you're down. When people come to, through your life hurting you and put you down, and when you get up again, they can't believe it. They get scared when they see you because, like, how you come back from that? That's what it made me think about. He wanted to take himself out. He was scared. He was scared they were going to get loose on him. Come on now. But, but Paul told me, he said, hey, hey, he said, stop. Don't kill yourself. Hey, tell him, look, don't hurt yourself. He said, don't do it. We're all here. We ain't coming to get you. And he said, the jailer called. He said, the jailer called for the lights and ran to the dungeon and fell trembling before Paul and Silas. And he said, then he brought him out and asked, sir, what must I do to be saved? Because when God put his hands on your life and you, he start raising you up from that pit to that palace, people going to want to know, how can I get to where you are? Can you tell me about God? Can you tell me about how this happened for you? And it goes on to talk about how the prison guard cared for Paul and Silas and everybody in his household got baptized. He invited them into their his, his home. He fed them. And that's what it's like when you live for God. And I know it gets frustrating to, to feel like you're still stuck in the same place. You feel like you're still doing all the work, but you're not seeing anything. And But sometimes it seems like life gets worse for you. But I'm telling you, it's this generational, you know, curse, like, pull that keeps trying to hold on. But I'm telling you from experience, it is something that you got to fight through. I remember, I remember the time when I when I went to church, and this was like I tell y'all all the time, it's been like a decade ago, when I met my spiritual father. He told me, I see a lot of hindrance around you, hindering spirits. And I knew that, but I just didn't know what it was called. I, I just knew it was something, you know? You just feel like you're always being pulled back, pulled back, pulled back. And he told me, he said, you got to fight. And that's what I'm coming to tell you, you got to fight. Because immediately something going to happen. And, and it, 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 even though it seems like a long time, but when it does happen and you start breaking those chains, you start breaking the, the mindset that you have, whatever you was raised up, you know, up around, you got to really break that stuff off you. It's, this is a real thing that you got to work at. You see what I'm saying? And so when he told me that, I started to fight back spiritually just through prayer, changing the way I think. If I ever told myself I wasn't going to make it, I stopped saying it and saying, yes, I am. Then I started to really pay attention to God showing up in my life. And I know a lot of people don't understand God. And some people can't even comprehend, which, you know, a lot of us can't always comprehend God's ways. But I do know this, being 21 years old, I wouldn't have, have not, I wouldn't have stayed this long with God if I didn't experience something you understand what i'm saying 21 years old you want to be outside but i experienced god i encountered god that's why i'm still here that's why i progressed in my walk with god you see what i'm saying but this is something you got to fight it, it i mean when they talk about the yoke you got this got to be broken it is real you got to fight and when it happens and you're breaking every chain it's gonna feel like immediately it happens and that's how it feels in my life. Even though it took me years to get here, now that I'm finally here, you know, into a, another dimension of my life, it don't feel like it took that long, though. That's how God is. It's like, it, it feels like it takes forever, but once he catch you up, it feels like it happened overnight, immediately. Put this in your house, in your atmosphere. Immediately, the doors are going to open. Immediately, the chains on your life going to fall off of you and your children. You just got to fight. And you got to stay away from anybody, including family, that keep trying to talk you back into that toxic way of thinking, into that, that way of, of feeling defeated, like y'all can't never be nothing, like y'all can't never go nowhere. You got to get by yourself with God. I'm trying to tell you what I know. This is from true experience. This is from true experience. People be like, why you act so different? Why you act so weird? You don't want to come around people because I felt bad energy. And because you want to be stuck on the porch, man. I don't want to be stuck there. So really, you got to move away from people. You really do. This is this ain't nothing just to, just to talk about. This is a real life for me. To get to where I am now, I had to be away from people. I don't want to go hang out all the time. And being people face, you're talking about the same thing over and over, hanging out at the same spots. You still running in the same circles, lost and confused, man. You got to get with God. 
We may not understand God all the time and everything about the world and the word of God, but I'm trying to tell you, I know God is real. I know God is real. And that, and hey, that, and that ain't no doubt about that. And I believe in Jesus. It still work when I say Jesus. You say Yeshua, Yeshua. <laughs> hey, call on the name. It still work for me. And that's all I come to tell you immediately. And that's what God reminded me, you know, of you know, with this story. And I had to reflect and think about their life. I'm like, man, they going on, you know, a, a long journey, and they still going through it. And that's what it is, you know, in life, God have to let you go through these things. And I know people say, why we got to suffer to get all this and that? It's not about that. It's just that you got to know how wicked people are so you know how to protect yourself. This is why God don't give us treasure straight out the gate. You understand? Because you got to know what you out here, what you're up against. So let me show you what you're up against. Let me show you how to, uh, you know, spiritually fight. You know what I'm saying? Let me, God so, say, let me show you how to protect yourself. Then I can add unto you because there's nothing for God to add to you. You understand what I'm saying? So if another thing too, if you're single right now, stay right there and let God keep building you up. Because I promise you, it's better to go this route, even though it's frustrating and lonely. I, it's better to go this route. Then so therefore, whoever, whoever God is going to align you with, both both of you guys will be spiritually equipped you see what i'm saying because when you have a kingdom relationship for real you're gonna have way more text when you finally get with somebody and y'all walking in christ together and y'all looking real good together you're gonna need all of the spiritual equipment you understand what i'm saying listen stick with god you may get confused sometimes you may hear people on this internet saying all type of things that you might have had the same questions about God and the Bible and life. But I'm going to tell you, no matter what, stick with God. The, you know, best thing to do is talk to God about your confusion. The things you don't understand. Well, why this? Why did it happen? Because I know, you know, we go through that too. But stick with God. Because when the favor of God is on your life, you don't want to get it up. You understand what I'm saying? Stick with God. It is better to stick with God than to not stick with God. And that's just me keeping it real. Catch them diamonds.